Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Uh, today, well, having a hard time getting some hay right now, and the boys are kind of irate at me because they've pretty well destroyed their entire area over here. So, you can quite obviously see what they've done to this area. This one, and that one in there. They don't like the hay that we got, so I'm gonna give them another option. Uh, the other option is here. This is a future project that will be on the channel. Uh, it's not on the channel right now because, well, it's been a year since I've been able to get back to it. Um, but it's no hurry. So eventually this will show up on the channel, just not right now. Uh, but what we're going to be using, you see in the background there, those are 16-foot cattle panels. We will be uh, putting those up as a temporary goat fence. We found <laughs> So what I did, I just weaved the uh, baling wire or baling twine through the uh, fence. I then used a couple staples to hold it down. Now we're going to open up this section of fence. I'd like to keep the same line here to the left following this, but I want to see, we're gonna do this backwards. I wanna go to that corner over there and pull it back this way and I want to find where the panels end because I want space to be, still be able to drive around it. So, start with a set of old rusty pliers. Didn't mean to fling that all the way over there. There. I'll set you up and see where we end up at.
I've got two. I've got four panels up. Yeah, four panels up, as you can see behind me. Uh, at this point, I'm out past where I want to be, which is there. So now I'm going to start disassembling this area over here so that I can reuse this, these panels. I don't want to include the area that they had before. So what I'm going to do is put a T-post in. Let me get up here. I'm going to put a T-post in somewhere around here. I want enough space for the goats to come through. But I'll basically just uh, block this off and I'm going to pull this panel around and follow the curvature and tie into the old area. Um, but I'm going to reuse all these panels that are in here, which is one, two, three, four, five. So I got five panels in here that will determine how far back I go so that I can connect and maximize the space.
I've got all the panels tied together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the last one up there near the goats and I'm going to pull it away from the building and tie those two together. Once that's done, I'm going to take what's left of my T-posts and go ahead and uh, tighten, up the, uh, tighten up the fence and the loose points. Because I could, in theory, push it out back here. Good possibility, in fact, so I'll go ahead and put some uh, T-posts in there. So let's go ahead and finish up so the uh, goats can get on their new playground. And let's get our tools out of there, too, before they decide to eat them. They will. They're goats. All right, got all the tools cleaned up, got everything all set up, and looks like the boys are doing what the boys do and eating their way through the uh, woods. Um, again, this is a very simple fence. What we're doing right now is we're clearing all this out. So earlier in the year, I cleared this area here. Uh, actually earlier in the year it was 2019 I cleared that uh, to start building the building well unfortunately the building we had planned here got sidetracked because we got the goats before I could get the building done and then I had to do the fence for the goats and then we got the garage and then I've been working on the garage now the sawmills down so I can't cut the beams I need to do it but we got so much other stuff going on right now it's a future future project I'm sure we'll get uh, get to it at some point left a string in there anyhow uh, as far as cost goes probably have three to three hundred and fifty dollars US invested in this uh, that's for the cattle panels the T posts um, but we don't do it um, we didn't do it all at once so we buy four or five panels and a package or two of T-posts. I had some left over originally from the goat fence, uh, the permanent goat fence over there. And then uh, bought some more fencing and then I bought some more posts. So we do it in small stages. Eventually, most of this area will probably be fenced off. Uh, that way we can um, break it down and have it in sections, paddocks if you will, so that we can run the goats through and then uh, not have them run through a specific area. <coughs> but when we started that area back there, you could not walk through it, could not. That was when we first brought the goats in here when we got them last year, just before the 4th of July. Now, Now it's uh, pretty wide open. So the next step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here and we're going to clear out some of this stuff. So stuff like this, it's going to go away. The little stuff will all go away. Probably going to take out this batch of trees right here. Probably going to take out this batch of trees right here because these are gumballs and I'm not a big fan of gumballs, especially when we can save little oaks like this or other oaks like this. Uh, those are much more useful to us. We might even take out that holly tree, although I might leave the holly tree just for shade during the winter and cover. Uh, but most of these are going to come out of here. That'll probably be the next step in this area. I'll probably give it a week or two to uh, to 
just get some rain on it and get it washed out a little before I get in here with the backhoe and start clearing it out. Maybe longer than a week or two. We might have to move the goats back in here before I get to it. You just never know. But this gives the goats a uh, nice area to graze in. And they're already doing a bang-up job of clearing everything out. They'll probably have this all mowed down in the next day or two. But we'll go ahead and start working this area soon. Get this cleaned up, get this cleaned out, and get it reseeded. Uh, we're going to seed this because we're going to be doing basically pasture in here. We're going to do uh, what they call silva pasture. So we're going to have trees and we're going to have stuff growing underneath it. And part of having stuff grow underneath it, we need to clear out a couple of the trees. And we're going to be selective on which trees we take out. Gumballs going away. Even though the goats love to eat the gumballs, the trees themselves, not the gumballs themselves, we're not going to leave those in here um other than that hope you enjoyed the video and please uh like subscribe comment that whole thing and we'll see you in the next one bye That's what I was going to get. Hearing protection. Crap.